Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading for September 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. And yeah, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. So let's see, what is going on with Leo for the first half of September? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And, ooh, okay, we have Abandoned. Okay, so it could be that you're feeling this way, maybe your person is feeling this way, but definitely somebody is feeling a sense of abandonment. Either because somebody has not come around or maybe somebody has changed their attitude, their behavior, or just feeling like, you know what, this is just not going to happen. Somebody has walked away, possibly. So let's see. Let's get into this Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September. Oh, okay. Okay. So for the situation, we have the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the Ten of Swords. All right, so yeah, and this is Mannix's head. <laughs> I keep trying to move him a little bit to make some room, but he just doesn't really want to cooperate. <laughs> All right, so I feel like there's a sense that, you know, things felt like or things feel like they have been working towards something, that there has been some effort that has been put in, possibly on your end, maybe on their end, maybe for the both of you, you just feel a sense of effort that there was work being done. And then it feels like, yeah, that just stopped. Somebody has stopped putting in effort, in other words, and that can feel really, really painful. So let's see, for the recent past, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and for the near future, we have the Three of Wands. So again, yeah, it feels like things were moving possibly very, very slowly, but it, at least it felt like there was some kind of effort, that things were moving. Um, I still kind of feel like there is some effort that is being put in, but at the same time, simultaneously, it feels like something is done or that something is just very, very painful here. I do see a little bit of um, waiting possibly coming up or just a lot of thinking about the future on somebody's end. We'll see when we clarify. For you, we have the Hierophant. For them, we have the Queen of Wands. More for you is the Eight of Wands. For them, the Hanged Man. And the potential outcome here is the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So you're in this place where I feel like you are learning a lot. Um, you, you're learning a lot. You already have learned a lot. I feel like you have gotten to this level where this situation has taught you a lot, even though it is very, very painful. I see you still wanting this connection with this person, this commitment, or you feel like this was a, or is still a very spiritual connection. And I also feel like, you know, you do want things to move forward, at least for at this point in time, all right? There's a sense of wanting to move forward and I feel like you are taking some kind of action. So we'll see um, more again when we clarify. For them, you're at the forefront of their minds. I mean, you're like right here, bam, the queen of wands, there you are. Um, this person is thinking a lot about you, but it does feel like, again, like there is something that has been paused. So. I mean, I don't know if it's just in your head or if you're just thinking this. Of course, things could be the other way around. Um, but I do feel like this person is thinking a lot about you and possibly just not really moving towards you at the moment in a very um, aggressive way. And so that's why you, you're possibly feeling abandoned if that's you. Ten of Pentacles, though, for the potential outcome, I mean, that's, that's freaking amazing. Right? That's, that's commitment. That's um, longevity of this connection. That's, be, um, that's a connection that's very stable, very consistent. Could even be marriage. All right, so let's see. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. All right. 
right, so we have the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles. Um, definitely some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, we do also have Taurus showing up here. All right, so, hmm. Again, yeah, it feels like, you know, somebody was putting an effort. It felt like the both of you were putting in equal effort at some point, or you just felt like, yes, you know, there was work being done that was moving, that was moving forward. And it felt like it was moving forward in a very successful way at some point. And... It could even be that you feel like maybe you've been putting in more effort than the other person, but you feel at the moment that this effort is just done. So it's pretty much the same thing um, being clarified here. All right, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see the Hierophant. So if you are dealing with the Taurus, then that's interesting because you're both thinking about each other. <laughs> Definitely let me know in the comments if you are. Um, all right, so clarifying the Hierophant, we have the Knight of Pentacles showing up again and the Chariot. Okay, so very slow moving energy and then very fast moving energy. So you're, I feel like this is how you're feeling. Like on the one hand, you're like, okay, you know, trying to pace yourself, trying to, trying to just take it slow and just go with the flow understanding that you know things are happening for a reason and then there are other times where you get very impatient so this could be patience could be one of the lessons that you've been learning here regardless of whether this is meant to come and it doesn't mean just waiting for somebody not doing anything with your life and just you know being a doormat it doesn't mean that at all but it could even be patience regarding your own self or regarding a situation let me see this eight of wands all right so we have the sun and the hermit so Leo energy showing up here again um, and Virgo doesn't have to be the signs that I'm calling out I'm just calling out um, what I do see yeah so this is you really wanting to move things forward I feel like you know you possibly you feel like you know you just want to be happy you just want to be happy I feel like you don't you don't want to be alone, but at the same time, I'm, I'm also getting a sense of acceptance for that. So it's interesting the way it's coming in because, like I said, it's like there's um, there's a, like a double side to this. Like on the one hand, you want to get on the right path for you, but then you're also feeling impatient about getting there or for this coming together if that is what you want. Um, and then here... It's like you want to move forward again towards your happiness. And I feel like you're really working on accepting that maybe that could even be um, alone. But again, it feels like there's there's a little bit of a rush to that. Like, all right, you know what? If, if I'm meant to be alone, then, you know, I just want to be happy. I do feel like you're taking steps in that direction regardless. Um, but this is just the energy that's coming through. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Queen of Wands. All right, we have the Emperor, the King of Swords, and Temperance. All right, Mannix is about to just sit on the cards. <laughs> okay. I will figure it out. Yeah. All right. So, Queen of Wands. I feel like this person, yes, they're thinking a lot about you, but at the same time, they're being like very, very, um, very firm when it comes to really holding their 
ground. They're doing this as they're trying to find some kind of a balance. I do feel like this is somebody who is taking their time um, with whatever it is that they that they need to do here. I Like I said, I feel like there is some kind of a pause, right, with the hanged man. There is something that is working, though, behind the scenes here. It appears like, like things are at a standstill. It appears like this person might not be putting in any effort. And it's causing you to feel like, all right, you know, they gave up. They've abandoned this connection. They've abandoned um, the effort. I don't see that. I don't see that here at all. I see them actually trying to get some control when it comes to whatever it is that is hindering them, whatever it is that is holding them back, whatever it is that is making them... I feel like they have stopped putting in that type of effort that they were putting in before. So let me just put it that way. They're going about this in a different way and I feel like this new way it's going to be something that is um, going to be a lot more healing in the way that they go about it they're thinking about you a lot okay i can't stress that enough like i just i'm just really like picking up on that vibe like really really feeling it but there's something here that needs to be taken under control first and i do feel like they are determined but at the same time as they're doing this um, they're like holding their ground, holding this, um, some kind of a stance. Let's see the hanged man. The ten of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the eight of cups. Some of them, some of them might be involved in another um, situation here, some kind of a commitment. It doesn't have to be um, a relationship. It could definitely be work, for example. All right, with this, with this Ten of Pentacles. I again, it feels like there is action that is being taken, and I feel like it is behind the scenes. Um, they're going about it in a different way. They're seeing this in a different way. And it, I feel like whatever it was that they were doing before, it just wasn't working. Even if that had to do with, you know, putting in effort for the two of you to work something out. I feel like this person either needed a break because it wasn't working. And they're, they're finding a different way to go about this, which again, it's going to be, it's going to bring some peace. It's going to bring some peace and I feel like it's, it's helping this person to maintain a state of calm, whatever this new way of dealing with the situation is, which you might already be seeing that for some of you. I feel like for most of you, you're not, but you definitely could be getting signs of it and not just understanding that that's what it is. So let's see the three of wands. is for what is coming up. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. All right, so this is actually pretty positive here. There's a shift. There's a shift. All right, yes, there might still be some, a little bit of um, thinking, a little bit of waiting, but I feel like something is being put into motion here or something already has been put into motion. Like that ball is already rolling and it's just kind of like waiting for that next step. The way that this is working and the way that this person is going about whatever it is, they're doing it in a different way. They're doing it in a different way. And again, this is actually going to um, help them. Uh, like, again, it's it's healing. 
it's coming from a more um, balanced place from within them. It's coming with a lot more self-confidence. And in a way where they are actually nurturing themselves. So I feel like this person is actually um, working towards something here. Having you in mind. Still putting in the effort. It's still there. It's just happening in a very different way. And it's happening in a way that is actually more, um, more suitable for them and more beneficial for them than whatever, whatever it was that they were doing before. It, it almost, it feels like it's more, um, custom made this, this new plan, this new, um, method. It's like custom made for them in order for it to work. So for <laughs> Vanix, we need we need that card that you're like right right here. All right, yes, the Ten of Pentacles for the potential outcome. This is leading to definitely to the two of you coming back together, um, or to some kind of stability. All right, whether it be together or apart, I'm seeing this as being together. Let's see. All right, the Eight of Swords, the World, and the Page of Pentacles. Yes, I, I feel like this is the message here. This is the potential outcome here, right? That Ten of Pentacles, having it all, all right? And having stability, uh, coming together. Um, the Eight of Swords, the World, and the Page of Pentacles. This is the message for you. Being this fear, this sense of either being abandoned or, you know, whatever it is that is keeping you in fear, that needs to close out. That needs to close out. And also for this person, whatever it is that was keeping them trapped, whatever it is that was keeping them stuck in their headspace, that as well is coming to a close. A cycle, a negative one, is coming to an end. Don't let fear get the best of you, all right? And with this page of pentacles, yes, this person is still putting in that effort. Things are still in the right path. All right, they're just moving in a different way than they were before. All right, Leo. So if this resonated, let's get the final message here for you. Definitely let me know if you were dealing with a earth sign because I do feel like we had a lot of earth energy showing up here. All right, and we have the fixed moon. Hold your vision. Yeah, I feel like, I actually feel like this is about this person. Um, definitely take it for yourself if it resonates. Um, but this person is, hold, is still holding on to that vision of whatever it is that they were putting effort towards when it comes to the connection. All right, Leo, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.